Ultron faces a bison brought back the Raiders for the final time of the regular season. And though it may no longer be the festive season, could the host unwrap a final gift from the visitors? Raiders now find themselves with a power play and Aeneas is able to tally his hat-trick goal and the turn as he extends his side's lead to three goals. <laughs> Leading the hosts to a timeout as they look to make some kind of change to bring themselves back into the match. But the first noticeable option comes from the visitors as they look to add yet another goal to the tally. This time the puck goes up and out of play. All before they get another opportunity and despite the goal light coming on, there's no celebration from any visiting player behind the net. And as the host looks to break, the whistle goes as Stevenson looks for consultation on the play. And looking at it from behind the net, it's clear to see that the puck clearly strikes the post before coming back out into play after deflecting off of the inside of Metal's leg. It wouldn't matter too much as the original hall stands and the herd eventually are able to stand me up the ice before Tate drives the net and opens the scoring at long last for the host. Straight off the restart, Northcliffe would force his way into the offensive zone, but James is again there to stop the shot. But with a delayed penalty now in the play, the Bison would look to add a second goal as they try and overload the visitors, and birthday boy Jay Hing is able to harmony put the shot past James, making it a one goal game with just under three minutes left to play. and resulting now in a timeout for the visitors as they look to regroup for the final minutes. Which they managed mostly, but as it ticked down to the final seconds, Ashley Tate steps up again, and with only two seconds left on the clock, he ties it up, sending it into an overtime period. While the team celebrate on the ice, however, Darren has his own moment answering the haters from the away end. And despite protesting from the Raiders for interference in the play, he was stitched by the original pull and awards the goal. As Overtime then gets underway, it's again the host who stampede at the starting box as Bordowski charges at the away goal on a breakaway. James comes out and takes away the chance. But hold on, there's a penalty on the play. And despite James having left his crease and Bordeaux being in possession of the puck, it's the Bison man who picks up a two minute penalty for interference. Though there were no big chances for his visitors, and once it's fired, the host will pick up their own power play as Tate's shot is knocked away into the corner. Talbot then stick handles his way through the offensive zone before Jones collects the loose puck and fires at the net. But Jones is again able to get behind another as he holds on for yet another whistle. And as we head into the final 20 seconds, the herd still continues to press as the puck finds its way to Wodowski now, who shoots, but Jones is able to get behind another. Before it's brought back to Harding, but his shot goes high and over the goal. As Pat comes back out the zone, the host replayed it and tried one final time. And as Tate drives the net yet again, James is this time able to stop him. But Bordaus is there to finish it off with just 1.6 seconds remaining in the game. In 
the Bison win yet another game in overtime. And as the players rush onto the ice to celebrate, the team splits between Bordowski for the winning goal and met him as he also celebrates his birthday on the day. And we just look at the pure excitement this game brings as Darren is finally able to breathe a sigh of relief and celebrate.